fucking sandstorm going on? Bunch of fucking sand in my eyes? No, you're, you got a helmet on. No, I don't. I don't. dangerous out here with this fucking weather. You never know what kind of shit's gonna fly in your face with the wind and the sand, but, but, I'll just get three words to the used to suck in freight. Oh, I think that's Old Town in the distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here. Three G3. We got a pastor there to get to Douglas. <laughs> Just past this bridge. You can't miss it. Oh, check out that little tiny city over there. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one inch tall guys who love each other and only know how to be nice. We welcome all strangers with open arms and a full heart. I'm so, so glad you found your way to our sweet little slice of heaven. Please, we all hope you enjoy your time here. Go on, step inside. Trust me, friend, you'll have the time of your life here in Little Cutie Town. Just head on down the main street there towards downtown and take in all the cute little sights. We have a library made of candy and a pond. Oh, fantastic. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 you're destroying everything. Oh my god, you're so big! Oh my god, it's really out of here! Oh my god, it's so big! Oh my god, we have a skating yard health care program here! We have a skating yard health care program here! We have a skating yard health care program here! We have a skating yard health care program here! We have a skating yard health care program here! Power plant totally safe, by the way, until you came and traded us. Reaction! It just wiped out an entire neighborhood. Okay, that's it. That's my whole, my whole town, my whole little cutie town. You ruined the whole city, and all my friends.
friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive, and I am going to kill myself, I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm gonna be so depressed I just pop a gun in my own head, and I die. I'm just gonna fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't wanna be alive. My whole town home is gone and dead, and you did it. It's your fault. I know I invited you in, but you should have realized you're so big. You're gonna ruin things. You should have told me. I didn't think about it. I'm kind of dumb sometimes, but you're you're not as dumb as me, I, I assume, so you should have said, hey, I'm not gonna go in there. I don't wanna stomp on shit like a big Godzilla. Not for me. Not not what I wanna do with my life. I don't wanna go kill everybody. That's what you should have said. Instead, you just did it. You walked in, and you knocked over entire buildings. Everyone's dead now. I am, I am so sad. I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I mostly I'm just yelling, but if you if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna calm down right now. I'm so fucking sad. I'm so fucking depressed now. Do you ever? Can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be. I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. You ever hear that when somebody goes to fight in a war and all the friends die and then they come back? They're like, "Why me? Why did I live? I, I should have died. Why me instead of them?" Well, guess what, pal? That's what I'm feeling right now, and I don't have the money to spend on any more therapy. So just pop, pop me in the head. Go ahead. Just. Well, Jesus, I wasn't sure if you were going to actually kill him. Poor guy. You know, maybe it was the right thing to do. Whew. Uh, yeah, I don't... I, uh, that's on them, right? For inviting us in. You know? Think about it. Let's get ready for supper, dear. I'll, I'll prepare the meal. You know, we can be a little hot-headed. You know, it's fine if you kill any of them, you know? We're all really loud and annoying, so I get it. You know, our family has a lot... Oof, you just shifted into the gray zone, or the dark, whatever, the evil zone. All right. 
Alright, hold town. We just move through this place and we'll, we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you with the snappers looking to get to Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I see him. He, he seems helpful. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? And how do we get to Dregtown? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dregtown entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Stand around and tell people that. What's up there, dog? We're looking for Douglas. What, like G3 Douglas? Uh, yeah. It's his job to be down there. I heard he was partying pretty hard. Hey, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop. Or get killed. Wink, wink. Oh, okay. That's what's happening here. You want us to kill them. Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill him, and, and I'll let you through.
Can't stay here. What are you looking at? Exclaimed Jack. violence treaty so no violence allowed here take mothers against violence huh i guess things are going to be quiet around here mothers against violence come about well wow you can really tell the g3 run this place huh so like i was saying my brother told me douglas is really into torture like sexually does it matter yes to me it needs to be sexual why are you telling me this i barely know you oh my bad yeah just sort of spilled out well now you know do with it what you will you have been any attraction to recruit over here oh yeah I, i've killed a few myself to be honest i can't say i blame you what you no good gore do come here no violence allowed here. Take care. So, how did Mothers Against Violence come about? Well, all us moms here in Brown. Oh, the party last night, right? Douglas was fucked up. up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And the oh, yeah. Ooh, taking that view. Isn't this place great? A whole city hanging under an asteroid. You can really get away with a lot of crime down here. Hello there, my child. I'm from a sweet little organization called Mother's Gorebox. And you're welcome to a sex of There's Mothers Against Violence, and then there's us, Mothers For Violence. We're a little different. We love violence, and we want more of it everywhere. Us and mothers may disagree from time to time, but there's one thing we all have in common. We're all mothers. Stay safe up. Actually, don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like 
some way to get in. If you get goofed, I can let you in. You need that protection. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine and trustworthy, I promise. Hey, Ada, thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My staff's quality. So yeah, yeah, you want some goop, right? No, no, no thanks, man. We, we're good. Fair enough, but you won't be able to go any further till you get my goop. So you'll be back. They all come back. <laughs>
well, if you're in the G3 cartel, people think that's all. G3 cartel, pretty cool. G3, fuck yeah. We rock and top. G3, what's in your wallet? Stuff. So you better be quick. Get in, get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't lollygate. Cause this 